I'm guessing you're having trouble with Reddit. You've got banned. A mod didn't like what you said, even though it was the truth. And now you're trying to get back on. And no matter how many different accounts you try, different emails, different this, different that, even using a different phone, you still keep getting banned. Why the hell is this happening? Well, let me show you what to do so that you can get unlimited accounts like this, like this, like this. and even using a whole different browser like this. All right, so what's happening is there's a few reasons why you can get banned. Actually, it doesn't even matter the reason because the mods will just flat out ban you because they might not like what you're saying. I see a lot of the comments and a lot of people just arguing different subreddits. Cool, no worries at all, it doesn't bother me. But then some mod comes along, he doesn't like what you say, perhaps it's against the whole agenda of the subreddit and they ban you and you're like, what the fuck, man? I've had my account for like three years and now you just ban me and you message support, you get ignored the mods can't help you and you just can't get back on. Well, it means you've been IP banned, at least. They ban the IP address, they ban the device ID. And when you're creating a new account, it, if it's using the same device ID, the same IP, which is your internet and that, it's just gonna keep getting banned. And then even if you get around this, you create a new account, and then there's a few spam filters that Reddit has, and they are a pain in the ass. One of the newest ones, I guess, out of all of them is the CQS, the Contributor Quality Score. And you'll see in my other videos how to create new accounts and everything, but I still see people are very confused about the Contributor Quality Score, which is fair enough. It's fucking complicated as fuck. Now, they implement a few different things, the Contributor Quality Score, such as past actions taken on accounts, um, the network, location. That's why VPNs don't work. I've explained this time and time again. Um, and then account verification, all that. And that's just one of the spam filters. Then you have the age of the accounts. Then you have the karma associated with the account, which is like Reddit's own currency. And I can understand it could be overwhelming. Now, I've made a lot of different videos showing how to create new accounts using anti-tech web browsers, proxy IP addresses, and that. I see a lot of people still having issues. So I created something, it's down below. You're gonna click on it and you go, what, 50 bucks for this? I could just keep watching more of my YouTube videos. Yeah, you can. But if you're one of them commenting underneath asking because you don't understand why you can't use a VPN, even though I keep telling you they don't work, no, I'll just do it my way. VPNs are good, they work. And you're still commenting, wondering what's going on, man? I've, I've been following your videos, it's not working. Well, then this is for you below. I only created it because I've been getting a ton of comments underneath the videos. And I just want to break it down step by step, explain exactly why you can't use a VPN, why you have to use a proxy. And in this little package for you below, the Reddit toolkit to get your brand new accounts up and running, um, there's even a comprehensive list of proxy providers and all that, which you might be having trouble with. Reliable entity tech web browsers and all that. So you can just actually create unlimited accounts like what you just saw at the start of the video, right? Now, yeah, this is, so this is what's going on under the hood and this is why you keep getting banned, but don't worry, I got your back. If you have any other questions, just let me know, but I'm assuming they'll all be answered in my Reddit toolkit down below that will allow you to create unlimited accounts. And as I said earlier, if you click on it and you go, well, I'm not paying $47 for this shit. Well, yeah, cool, keep watching more videos, no, no worries at all. But yeah, just let me know. I'll be going up to 69 bucks soon because there is a ton of value in there and you can do some real damage with that. You can even use it if you're wanting to use Reddit for marketing and stuff like that. But yeah, I just created it out of necessity because uh, getting a ton of people that just don't understand how Reddit quite works and how it keeps banning everyone, which is fair enough. It's, yeah, it's gotten overly complicated, but it is worth getting back on, especially if you've got a vendetta and you have an argument and you just want to get back in there. It breaks it all down and it shows exactly how to join more subreddits, how to build up the CQS score, go undetected, slide back in the subreddits where you came from and continue where you left off without the mods detecting you. So yeah, that's it. But anyways, as usual, if you like that video, go smash like button, smash subscribe button. See you on the next video.